Hi everyone, I'm Diana Henry here at Con Expo 2020 and joining me now is Eric Zeezer from Case. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, you're welcome. All Pleasure right. to be here. Big news today. Just announced the first fully electric backhoe loader. Why go electric with this product line? Exciting day. We just debuted half an hour ago our first live demo in the booth. The backhoe loader. Why? Case 1957 invented the backhoe loader. So with that regard, it's only fitting for us to also be the first fully electric backhoe loader on the market. But when you look at the industry and the evolution of compact equipment and what's going to go electric, the backhoe loader made sense for us for really two reasons. One, as I said, being the inventor of the backhoe loader in 1957. But secondly, the industry demand. Utilities, municipalities, the key product in their range is the backhoe loader still. The Swiss Army knife of a product is utilizing their applications inside the urban areas. And it's using very different applications where it's not a high production wheel loader, a high production wheel lo excavator. The backhoe loader being the Swiss Army knife of a product. It kind of does a little bit of work on the back side, the front side, lots of idle hours. So the backhoe loader is very fitting for converting that to electric, where you can save that downtime, wasted diesel hours, wasted diesel fuel, convert that into zero, zero emission, zero battery consumption on the back. Is this where you're getting some of the feedback from customers saying, we want this? And so what benefits did you really kind of mold into this, this new, new machine? Sure. Yeah, the, the other reason why I chose the backhoe loader is a dual approach. From a company standpoint, case construction, our goal is sustainability and decarbonization. We've been looking across electrification on the various product lines from our compact, our mini excavators, CTLs, gets your loaders, trying to figure out you know, which product's the first to market. However, based on the customer demand, we chose the backhoe loader bill suitable because we actually have customers coming to us requesting to electrify their case backhoe loaders in the marketplace today. We've currently sold two machines already to two key utility companies in the state of New York, uh, partnered with them directly on this program, taking their feedback, their, their, how they're using the backhoes today in their environment, looking at that data with them, and then evolving this machine to meet their needs and their future ex expectations. All right, New York's got the first two. When will we see more of these on the job site? We don't have an exact date yet for when we're going to go to the next one's out. We're here at Con Expo. Project Zeus is a little different than 580 EV. So we've got two names going for the machine. Project Zeus, as we've done at Case through various Project Minotaur in Con Expo 2017, Project Tetra at Bama in 2019. Project Zeus is our code name for this project. We're teasing ahead of time, working as a team on this. But really the machine is 580 EV. We look at our customer machines, the 580 EV is a bit different than Zeus. Zeus is a little more flashy, trying to judge operator awareness, customer awareness that, hey, this machine is electric. It can be electrified. But then as you go to the 580 EV, it's a practical, ready to work machine. Our standard ruggedized exterior as a case backhoe has in the market. Our next machines coming out, we're trying to decide based on the intentions of customers here at the show, who's really willing, who wants to partner with us on this to make sure that our first pass on this is right and for the market. The technology is rapidly changing electrification. With our, with our company, we have FPT, we have the, the recent acquisition or partnership, excuse me, in Nicola. And with that, the technology available to us is kind of going very quickly right now. So we're at a decision point trying to figure out how fast we bring out mass production of this vehicle versus taking it smaller steps, working with close customers, and refining this product line over the next you know, months and years. So right now we're taking customer intent right now, working with them directly on our team, trying to figure out you know, who we want to choose as our select partners going forward. Awesome. So the exact date? <laughs> we'll find out here. TBD but, uh, is what I'm hearing on that. 2020. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not saying further than that. Great. But whether it's next month or in, in five months, depends on how many customers I get lined up, and we got to then decide, you know, who, who's the best for us. That's that's great news. So if you're not at Con Expo, how can somebody learn more? So KC.com, obviously. We've also got a landing page dedicated to our 580 EV backup loader. So KC.com slash 580 EV, or go to KC.com and click on the uh, the landing page there that direct you to that. Wonderful. And with that, there's a brief survey questionnaire, and that'll come directly to our product management team to, to vet out those customers to figure out who is our next best candidate. Great news. Congratulations on the unveiling. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for joining us, and have a great show. Pleasure to be here. You too.